cha mizizi ya habari na habari kuwa umekumbatiwa na wakenya kutokana na faida zake Pabila moja kaka mtao utawala kaunti ya Nairobi inafuga nyuni wa mapambo mbali na ndege wa kawaida na Nzio Chido anatukunjulia jamvi la mizizi ya habari <tos> Tunakaribishwa na vilio vya nyuni mbali mbali walio tapaka kila mahali dhihirisho tosha kuna ufugaji wa ndege hawa unaoendelea hapa Huyu hapa ni James Kabindu na kwa taswira kamili uchelei kusema ni kipenzi cha nyuni hawa anavyotangamana nao kila kukicha kwa kuwapa lishe na hata kuhakikisha kuwa mandhari ya nyuni aliyo nao yapo nadhifu Alipata kibali cha kuendeleza ufugaji wa baadhi ya nyuni hawa hasa wa porini kutoka kwa shirika la wanyama pori. Now apart from now the line of ducks I now have the ornamental birds which are I have two categories uh, or, or I can call them three because uh, one is uh, what I can call the wild birds that require our permit from KWS. Napata kujifunza kuwa kuna tofauti ya nyuni wale wa porini na hata wale wa nyumbani. Je, unafahamu kuwa kanga ni nyuni wa porini wakiongozwa na wengine kama fentas kwa lugha ya kimombo? <laughs> na katika ziara yangu tunapiga hatua yetu ya kwanza katika kiangulio cha mayai kinachobeba idadi ya mayai 352 na hapa kuna mpangilio na ratiba unaofuatiliwa kwa mayai haya kuangulika. I'll pick the egg. I'll go and put it in a store near the the machine that I use for hatching. Uh once I do that, I will label the eggs. Once I label the eggs, all I do is that I take the dates. Uh if I take example of the duck eggs, the duck eggs will take a maximum of uh, 28 days to hatch. The chicken, whether it is the Polish or the Kuchi, will take 21 days. Assuming I'm uh, uh, today, let's say you, 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 uh, I'm putting them into the machine on phone, I'll say 4th of April. Then from there, I'll calculate the number of days depending on the type of the chicken. Yeah. So if it's 21 days, I'll add 21 days. And then I can minus one day so that uh, by the time it is pecking, I can be able to remove it from the shelves and then put it uh, in the hatchery. Hata kwa teknolojia maarufu ya kiangulio hichi cha mayai, Kabindu hasiti kutupa kijicho kwa mayai haya na kutazamia jinsi yanavyoangulika na kupata hesabu ya kinda wanaoanza safari ya kuwa nyuni kwa hivyo hao huwe kwa kando. Kinda hawa baadaye hupelekwa katika eneo lililo na joto ili kuwasaidia kukua hadi kiwango cha Kabindu kuweza kuwasilisha kwa wateja wake pindi tu wanapoendelea kukua. When I take them to the brooder there is electricity and in case there is no electricity there is these small pots that uh, we put the charcoal and all that. It is still in warm and I'll feed it from there. Now when it is the brooder now I advertise so I can get the customers and uh, from the brooder. And then from that there's another place I keep them between uh, ages depending on ages from day one to a month to two months. By that time I'm expecting that I normally sell the chicken. So by the, the, that time I expect I'll have gotten the customers and in an event I do not get the customers, now I shift them from that and I rear them until the time now they start laying again. So a customer can come in a moment for uh, a dentist stage in that life. Yeah. Na kwa nyuni hawa wa mapambo na wafuga kabindu kumletea kipato kikubwa japo wengi wa wateja wake si wa homo nchini nyuni aina ya fisant wakiwa wawili humgarimu mteja wake kutoa shilingi 1030 kwa jumla au mmoja akiuzwa na shilingi 1015 kioyo mmoja huuzwa kati ya shilingi 300 na 1000 na kwa bata aliyekoma aliye kati ya miezi mitano na sita akigarimu kati ya shilingi 2000 na 3000 na kwa nyuni huyu anayefahamika kwa jina Kuchi na aliye na ukubwa wa umbo na ni tofauti sana na nyuni wengine huuzwa kwa bei ya shilingi 1300 akiwa Kuchi wa kike na 1400 akiwa Kuchi wa kiume. Nancy Ochido KUTV. <tos>
makala mazuri hayo ya mboga ya ugali. Tukisonga mbele ni kuwa familia na marafiki wa mweda zake ya Kenneth Matiba li walikusanyika katika kanisa la kiangilikana la Holy Saints Cathedral ili kuhudhuria misa ya wafu. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta liongoza viongozi wa serikali kuhudhuria misa ambayo Rais Mstafu Mwai Kibaki alihudhuria. Ibada nyingine itafanyika kesho kwenye uwanja wa Ihura kulimranga. Kufungua kwa joto la kisiasa nchini kumefungua mwanya kwa wastawishaji wa kibinafsi kuwekeza humu nchini. Hatua hii imeboresha sekta ya makazi na nyumba na hali ni hali ambayo imeinua viwango vya ustawishaji nchini na kuifanya Kenya kutamlika katika ramani ya dunia. Mwanabaru wetu Kelio Gome na kina cha taarifa hii. Sekta ya nyumba na makazi humu nchini ilishuhudia pigo kubwa baada na kabla ya uchaguzi wa mwaka 2017. Wengi wa wastawishaji walifumbia macho zoezi la kuwekeza humu nchini hasa katika sekta hii muhimu wakihofia kwamba huenda matokeo ya uchaguzi yakawa na athari kwa miradi yaliyowekeza kwao. Hali hii ilifanya mataifa mengi ya Afrika Mashariki kama vile Tanzania kwa vutia wawekezaji. Lakini sasa mambo ni tofauti sana kwani biashara ya nyumba imemarika tena zaidi wastawishaji wakionyesha matumaini yao katika soko la Kenya. Joy Mbugwa mtafiti katika kampuni ya Saiton Investment inayoshughulika na biashara ya nyumba na makazi anaeleza jinsi ambavyo sekta hii imevutia wawekezaji huko nchini. And the report shows that the real estate sector is picking up uh, because last year we did see it um, kind of slow down because of the electioneering period and attack microeconomic environment in general. And so according to the Q1 report, the sector is picking up and we did see uh, occupancy rates and returns to investors in general picking up. For the residential sector, for example, uh, the occupancy rates uh, did increase uh, from 79.8% uh, in 2017, that was recorded in Q4 of 2017 to around 80%. 80.6% Hili linaweza athibitishwa na mradi huu wa kujenga nyumba 1250 na kampuni ya Saiton mradi ambao unanuia kuwapa wakazi 1000 wa katika kaunti ya Kiambu makazi kama anavyoeleza William Kinyanjui From the designs that have come up this whole project will end up with about 1100 1200 units this is only the first phase and the first phase is about 120 units and as you've heard we've already pre-sold 30 of those it means that we are already 25% committed kulingana na mbugwa utulivu baada ya kipindi kirefu cha kisiasa huko nchini kinawapa imani wasawishaji wa kibinafsi wengi ambao walikuwa wameshikilia pesa zao na kofi ya kuwekeza the electioning period did see uh, investors uh, hold back from their purchase decisions and that is because of the unstable or unpredictable state of the electioneering period and that uh, resulted in reduced transaction volumes uh, reduction in construction activities but all that is changing in 2018 Fauka ya hayo biashara ya nyumba na makazi huja na rundo la changamoto ku ikiwa kushamiri kwa wakura kama anavyoarifu mtaalamu wetu
Uh, you have to um, conduct research for yourself and research into the company that you're buying into. So before you buy a product, we always uh, advise our clients, make sure that you see the necessary certificates from the developer. Uh, before you buy, before you make any deposits or whatever, just make sure that you see the product at least where it will be, whether it's uh, being constructed or um, being constructed or even the land itself. Takwimu zinadhihirisha kuwa bado gharama ya kununua na kumiliki nyumba nchini ni ghali mno. Hii ikiwa mojawapo ya sababu kuu zinazosababisha kushamiri kwa mitaa ya mabanda katika ukanda huu wa Afrika. Kutulia kwa joto la kisiasa huko nchini kumewatia moyo wawekezaji wa kibinafsi kutoka huko nchini na hata katika mataifa ya kigeni kuwekeza katika sekta ya nyumba hali ambayo imeweza kuinua viwango vya uwekezaji huko nchini. Kevin Ogome KUTV Inasemekana kufaulu kuwa mfanye biashara mashuhuri unalohitaji kufanya ni kugundua mahitaji ya nunuzi na kuatimizia. Dan Kangogi ni wa kupigia mfano katika hatua hiyo ya kufaulu kibiashara. Licha kuwa na shahada katika taaluma ya walimu aliacha taaluma yake na kujitosa katika biashara ya usalamala. Mwanahabari wetu Brani Taba amevalia njoga taarifa hii. Elimu ndio ufunguo wa ufanisi. Usemi huu ni tafsiri ya moja kwa moja toka lugha ya Kiingereza. Hata hivyo usemi huu kidogo unapoteza maana yake hasua hapa nchini Kenya ikizingatiwa na jinsi ukuaji wa teknolojia unavyoshika kasi kote duniani. Kila uchao kote nchini wa Kenya uamu mbioni katika mabarabara na mitaa mbalimbali wakiwa kwenye pilka pilka za kutafuta kazi ambazo tayari ni chache ikilinganishwa na idadi ya wakenya inayoendelea kukua kwa kasi. Juma hili tulimtembelea mjasiria mali mmoja katika sekta ya useremala maeneo ya Waybridge katika kaunti ya Kiambu ambaye alitupilia mbali taaluma yake ya ualimu na kuamua kutafuta riziki yake katika biashara ya utengenezaji milango kwa mbao yani useremala ukipenda akiwa amejihami na takriban shilingi laki nne Duncan Ngogi alianzisha kampuni yake ndogo ya kutengeneza milango baada ya kugundua kwamba ujenzi wa nyumba jijini Nairobi upo kileleni na majengo mengi huhitaji milango kando na vifaa vingine vya mbao. Tulienda round we collect a lot of information. Kwa kuta customers the milango zenye wamekuwa nazo ni milango zenye zitatengenezwa vizuri. Unakuta iko haijajazwa ndani fundi akienda kujenga nyumba yake kuta doesn't last na kuta hiyo mlango iko very weak lakini sasa kwa sababu sisi tunafanya bado stories ambao we are able to manufacture quality doors Duncan hana uweledi katika sekta ya utengenezaji milango kwa kutumia mbao pamoja na maarifa mengi ya useremala hata hivyo hiyo si sababu tosha kumzuia kufanya biashara hii ya kutengeneza milango ya mbao Anaarifu kwamba la mno ni kuwapa wateja wake bidhaa ambazo zina utofauti na zingine ili aweze kustahimili kishindo cha upinzani katika biashara. Somea English Literature High School na pia University nikasoma English Literature Bachelor in Education. Lakini nikaona I had that urge ya to start my own business because niko napenda sana kukuwa having my own company venye naweza gisel. Although nilikuwa nimetafuta jobs in Nairobi they are not paying because if you are paid like let's say 20000 how will you sustain the whole month huku wakiweza kutengeneza milango mia moja ya aina mbalimbali kwa siku milango ambazo huuzo kwa bei ya kati ya shilingi 2200 na 3500 na 500 dan kana ameweza kuajiri kazi wafanyikazi 15 kwa jumla katika kipindi kisichozidi miezi mitano tangu kuanza kwa kampuni yake Novemba mwaka wa 2017 Lakini tuki market vile ina grow sana unakuta demand mnaitishwa sana so you have to expand you have a bigger nini a bigger bigger machine in na accommodate let's say 200 doors at a go Wewe hii kazi inanisaidia sana kwa moja na family yangu Mimi naona ikiwa mzuri sababu mapato ni mzuri ina mahitaji yangu inanitoresha yote kwa hivyo hata nikipata pesa naweza anzisha kazi yangu kama hii ya milango Duncan ana ndoto ya kupanua mipaka ya biashara yake ili aweze kuajiri wengi wasio na kazi
Uh, we are planning to go beyond Nairobi. We are planning to go to, because I normally get orders, because I do internet marketing, sometimes I'm asked to take those to Nyeri, to Nakuru, to Eldoret. So in future, we are planning to set up many businesses in major towns, meaning that if we start those businesses there, of course, we have to hire more people. Duncan anasema kuwa yeye na watatu anao wajua ambao wanajihusisha na utengenezaji wa milango hawawezi kutosheleza haja ya wateja wanaohitaji milango hiyo ya mbao hivyo basi anawahimiza wote waliona ari ya kufanya biashara hiyo kujitosa uwanjani. Katika siku za hivi karibuni serikali imewezesha wanafunzi wanaohitimu kutoka shule za upili kujiunga na taasisi za kiufundi katika juhudi za kusawazisha kiwango cha elimu ya juu kwa wakenya wa kila tabaka nchini. Na matarajio ya washikadau kuwa elimu ya taasisi hizi itakuwa ya manufaa kwa vijana ili waweze kupata ujuzi wa kujitengenezea nafasi za ajira. Brian Itava, KUTV. Awamu ya kwanza ya mizizi ya habari na katika endelea kutazama KUTV tunarejea hivi punde.